um, if it was important for them to attend the school. It is true that some some families just couldn't send their their kid to the school because they couldn't afford any tuition. Um, and it... just accept you got beat. Okay, when was the last time you've heard of Kentucky's coach? not doing the post game interview after they got beat it's never happened he always does it that's a classless thing to do all you have to do is accept you got beat by the better team come out and say you know kentucky's a great team they just got us today and that's just how it is don't don't totally hide from everybody and say i can't go out there i can't i can't admit we got beat it's very hard to get a full tuition uh, i think the only time that a single Student from a single a student from a single family, that was the only student from that family. Uh, I think the only time that a, such a student got um, a full tuition was when there was actual fundraising for their full tuition. It's not it's not simple, and because of that, some families just don't send their kid because they can't afford it, and yeah. you know they wait for us to to be able to to lower the scholarships so they think, could come. I think. And defensively too, that counts. What he could does, like on that position. Oh! Offensive foul, though, is called on Shane Bahannon. Gene Sterator comes over to Mike Roberts. Rick Pitino did not like the initial call. Peyton Siva is saying that perhaps Klahar was inside the restricted area. Well, I don't know what they're huddling about. And he is inside the restricted areas, absolutely. Shane Bahannon, that's just not fair. 6'6", 250 on the 5'11", 186 pounder. If we could, we would give as much as possible, but we are so poor and we have yeah. such a small building, we're growing. If we were doing better, I think we'd definitely make it a lot easier for people to come, lower the tuition by a substantial amount, but right now we can't. It's not fair that he got called to charge either because of the fact that Klahar's feet clearly are inside right, the right. area. <laughs> they do change the call. They count the two, which is absolutely the right call. Feet were clearly in the restricted area. And that's the second foul now on Warrell Klahar. Well, give Klahar some credit. He's about my size, and I didn't really want, I wouldn't have wanted to stand here. I'd like to give Klahar credit, but I would like to know what, how they changed this call. And Mike Roberts clearly calls an offensive foul, which was the incorrect call. You want to get the right call, but I'm not sure how the outside of As much as he's been prospering as a basketball player, so we're going to move forward without him. We, we obviously have to speed up the process of, of a Koya gal who's not ready right now for... physical and an emotional standpoint to compete with the, at the level we're at. We know he's going to be a very good player down the road, but we got to speed up his pro, uh, progress. In the meantime, when Montrez comes out of the game, we'll play uh, Wayne Blackshear at the four spot. Uh, Wayne is not a whole lot smaller than Shane. Wayne gives you great rebounding. Uh, Wayne gives great defense, he, he gives you toughness, um, so uh, although we have a young man that's had great Final Four experience and championship level experience, uh, Wayne will more than be capable of stepping in and uh, we feel we'll still be uh, very, very strong at that position. But we are very concerned about Shane Bahannon that he move forward and prosper <coughs> as, as a person. It's a sad thing. It's a sad thing. It really is. And now you have the fans crying that, oh, the referee's beat us. I mean, you never hear this from Kentucky fans. If we get beat, we accept it. And the referees even called the game fair is what's sad. You know, they want obedient workers. Obedient 
workers, people who are just smart enough to run the machines and do the paperwork and just dumb enough to passively accept all these increasingly shittier jobs with the lower pay, the longer hours, the reduced benefits, the end of overtime, and the vanishing pension that disappears the minute you go to collect it. And now they're coming for your social security money. They was no one way or the other. They was c bad calls both ways. You can sit here and pout all you want about it. You just got beat. That's all there is to it. So, you have to just accept it. It's totally classless the way your program is right now. And it's sad. It's sad. I thought I, I didn't want to have to make this video, but it needs to be sad. And um, it's multiple things. Well, that's what it is because we're not going to tell you anyway, but it's multiple things. That, uh, that and, uh, I got together with Tom Jurich and we've uh, put together... How he can come back on the team, but as I said, he's already he's already missed one assignment um, in a very short period of time. So it's uh, but he can get back on the team. Uh, like I said, I don't think it's probable, but it is possible. Just to let everybody know how low the the Louisville program is, it's sad. It really is. So, <clears throat> yes. Sir. So you you suspended him or the university, university. suspended him? They did. Okay. He's still in the dorm and everything. And he's not. He's not. Really. He's living in a dorm, but not with us. Not with us. Coach, when when did you find out about this? What was the decision made? Uh, we I got together with Tom a couple few days ago, and um... so anyway, guys, that's the video. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys on the next video, as always. Have a great day, and thanks for watching. God, I'm so wasted. I'm high on life. You ever get high on life? Try it sometimes. Drug free, just high on life. Amazing. It's an amazing feeling. And um, we both agreed that Shane should put basketball aside. And um, you know, he's a lovable guy good person. He reminds me of somebody else I coached here a few years ago. And uh, I've, I've got a little experience in this area right now and the best thing to do is step away from basketball and learn how to prosper as a <laughs>
Adolph Rupp never coached anywhere else from that day forward. And over the next 42 years, he impacted the game in a way few others ever have. Madison has a good reputation as a, as a good uh, school district and has a very high spending per student, uh, dollars spent per student. What happened was, um, 